Black Clover Chapter 251 is out, and the long-awaited drought of Veneca is now over. Now, for starters, I know that the fan translations had some rough edges there. The grammar issues were, you know, ferocious today. But when the official release comes out on Sunday, I will be talking about the chapter again, do a proper breakdown. But it's time that we get to see Vanica. You know, it's crazy that everyone every week has been asking or for the past couple months, I say about a good three months, everyone's been asking, oh, I can't wait to see Vanica versus Noel. And now it's here. The wait was worth it because every other chapter that has transpired in the Heart Kingdom battle before this one, now our heroes are going to suffer. <laughs> But I don't want to waste any more time. I want to get straight into this review. So, guys, if you are new to this channel and enjoy the Black Clover content, subscribe with notification bells on. I appreciate that. Hopefully by next week or so, we'll be at 10K. That will be awesome. So, let's talk about Black Clover Chapter 251, Demon Curse. So this chapter begins with the aftermath of Ganja's battle against a Dark Disciple. And you see dark clouds are just in the sky and this Dark Disciple is pretty much done for. And you can tell from the panels that Ganja used his true lightning spell. And the citizens who are watching the battle, they state, oh, as expected from Ganja. And one of the spirit guardians says that it's frustrating that we're both spirit guardians, but we're on different levels. But the impressive thing here is that Gaja, we already knew, this confirms that he is the strongest, but we already knew that. But the impressive thing in this panel was that he didn't have a single scratch, not a single dirt mark. It's like Gaja showed up and completely one shot at the guy. The spirit guardians should take this as motivation this moment because if it wasn't for them, if they actually held their own, even if one or two won their battles, they would have been in a better position. The heart cannon would have been in a better position. But Gaja had to show up and show it how it's done. He is on a whole different tier. It's not even close. And for Gaja to come out unscathed against a 50% Dark Disciple, that's an amazing feat. But he goes on to say that I only came here to support since I am the fastest, but I should probably go back to Lord Bachika as soon as possible. We then switch panels and we see Noel, Mimosa, Lord Bachika, and the Water Spirit are all excited. They are saying, what a relief, all those guys took down the Dark Disciples. They are all defeated. That is good. And Lord Bachika states that her water magic, her mana zone, couldn't reach where the enemies are. So that kind of lets us know that there is a limit to her power. Like she is overpowered where her mana zone controlling the country with her water. But I think that she used so much of it while protecting the citizens that she wanted to save her power because she knew another battle was yet to come. Then the most biggest and ugliest Dark Disciple comes in and he goes on to say, I can feel the rich mana of these girls. And he has tongue magic. It is the most, I thought skin magic was nasty. I thought it looks horrible, but tongue magic, you know, you got some competition, Savekin, because this is nasty. <laughs> But they were prepared. Lord Bachiga and Noel and them, they states that we knew you were coming, so we came prepared. And we see Mimosa. She uses her attack spell. She uses plant magic, magic cannon flower, and attacks the Dark Disciple. And he's done in one shot. Gotta give Mimosa credit right there. But she did say that thanks to Lord Bachiga for the mana supply. Because when she did use her spell, it was the water spirit behind her, but it wasn't a combo spell. But... I guess it's similar to how the water spirit used Noel's water magic to make clones of the water spirit. So that could have been the case. But, you know, that situation seems more of a combo spell. But what Mimosa did, I guess it just helped supply of mana, gave her an extra kickback. But that's very impressive because this is a 50% Dark Disciple. And with Mimosa's plant magic attack, she was able to just one shot this Dark Disciple. The power of royalty, I tell you. <laughs> But right after that, we see the woman we all been waiting for, Vanica. You know, she shows up and just says, Lord Pachika, you know, with a big smile on her face, like she's ready for a Lord Pachika. Like, hey, Lord Pachika, remember me? I'm ready to kill you today. And, you know, we really didn't see much of Vanica in the previous chapter. We've probably seen like three panels of her total before this chapter. You know, but Vanica, she a little cute one. You know, like everyone going crazy over that dark disciple that showed up that fought Charmy, but... Nah, Vanica just came and was like, nope, I'm the prettiest one. <laughs> but she says that that day I came and left a curse because of Megicula. But today we can play as much as we want. 
Then we see this panel shot of Noelle and she is ready. She goes on to say that this is the woman, the one that is possessed by Magicula, the enemy of my mother. And Noelle, I'm rooting for you. You know, I'm just, that's all I gotta say. I'm rooting for you, but sheesh, yikes, I don't know. I'm scared for you as well. <laughs> Lord Chica goes on to ask Vanica, if I'm your only target here, then why are you attacking everybody else in the Heart Kingdom and focusing on where everyone lives? And she gives the most shocking answer. She says, because if I did that, you would be motivated a little bit more. And she says that with the biggest smile on her face, you know, like she does not care. And you can honestly tell, even though it's been confirmed that, you know, the Zogret families like Dante and Vanica, you know, Xena, they are related, but you can definitely tell that Vanica and Dante, they have a lot in common because they will say the most craziest things and would just laugh in your face like, screw your feelings, I don't care. <laughs> Noelle starts screaming at Vanica saying that all your dark disciples are defeated, prepare yourself, you're the only one left. And Vanica just has this face on her like, huh? <laughs> and the reason why that is so funny because of what happened later on in this chapter. Noelle should have never said that because now what happened later on in this chapter, it just makes her looks, you know, like you had no idea. You really underestimated the power of Vanica. <laughs> you gotta calm down. So Vanica goes on to say that, what do you mean by defeated? And we see the tongue magic dark disciple just rise up and all of them are shocked. They're like, wow, we thought he was defeated. The dark disciple rises up and says, oh, that felt good. And Vanica just jumps in the air and just thumps on his head and says that you are too noisy. Hurry up and get rid of those other girls besides Laura Pachika. And he says, oh, please step on me more. <laughs> like this guy is insane. Like they really fall in love with Vanica because Savekin is like that too. You know, excluding the female dark disciple that showed up with Vanica, but she legit has an army of simps. You know, they would do anything in their power to just get noticed. She steps on his head and he said, please step on me more. <laughs> That's just crazy. So Venica goes on to say, well, it's just like this. Because of my curse, even if you kill them, they won't die. And you start seeing every single dark disciple that came into this battle start resurrecting. You see the one that Gaja defeated, he started coming back. You start seeing the one that Luck defeated, he came back as well, Savekin. And of course, Savekin with his simp self, he started praising Vanica like, oh my God, the, the woman Vanica, the power of her, thanks for bringing me back. You know, it, he's so insane. <laughs> You see the eye dark disciple magic guy, the one that Leo defeated, he's now resurrecting. And it's crazy because Leo put so much effort into beating this guy because he couldn't find him. Now you got to fight this sniper again. I think he's probably the most dangerous out of the dark disciples because, well, as far as support, but his marksmanship, if you don't have mana skin, he's going to shoot everybody. And I think Leo probably won't struggle fighting him again, but if he has enough mana left, but I think luck luck on the opposite end he used a lot of mana i don't know if he's ready to fight savakin again now the one that fought charmy i'm not worried at all because you know charmy she is a strong character her magic i don't really you don't it's not a lot of characters that can fight her because her magic you know that wolf you know that food magic is just ridiculous so i think you know the female dark disciple she's just gonna get another l but if charmy got enough mana left then this will be easy but this is ridiculous that Vanica is able to resurrect all these dark disciples as long as she, you know, has that curse upon them. They won't die. Then we see the last panel of this chapter. We see Vanica. She goes on to say, unless I get defeated, they will keep on reviving. Isn't that fun for you? Isn't that enough to motivate you, Laura Pachika? And we see that Noel, Laura Pachika, she gets in her princess dress. You know, she's ready to fight. And Mimosa, they all charge in saying, we are going to defeat you. And Noel, you know, her face, she is so serious because this means a lot to her. Also, Laura Pachika and, you know, for everyone else, but this is very personal. But this is a tough battle to be in because Ganja, we know that he is the strongest one there. He wants to get back to you know, Vanica and, you know, fight her and help Laura Chica as fast as possible because he knows that he needs to protect her. But the thing here is that these guys are going to keep reviving as long as Vanica is not, you know, is alive. You need to defeat her. You need to kill her before they all run out of mana because this battle will be a battle uh, test of endurance. Because Noelle and Mimosa, they're going to be focused on that Dark Disciple, the Tongue Magic guy. And then it all comes down to the MVP has to be Lorba Chica. 
Will her power be enough to stop Vanica? We'll have to wait and see. And I'm very, I'm so excited for the next chapter. I will rate this chapter an 8 out of 10 or 9 out of 10. But other than that, guys, comment below and tell me what you think about this chapter. Did you enjoy it? Also, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. And if you are new to the channel, subscribe and notification bell is on. So you'll be notified whenever I upload. You guys take care of yourself. Have an awesome life. And I'm out.